Hi, I am Dr. DJ Moran, and I'm a behavioral psychologist and a founder of Rune 17. At Rune 17, we aim to reduce human suffering and also increasing the quality of life using wireless technology. We develop Bluetooth low energy devices that are smaller than a dime, and we can program them to run on batteries for over a year. What happens with these particular devices is that if you twist it, turn it, or tilt it, it sends that movement and that information directly to your smartphone. Imagine something this small communicating with your smartphone about things that are remote when they move. The possibilities for something like this are limitless. Imagine putting it on grandma's pill bottle so you can tell when she twists it and turns it and you can know if she took her Alzheimer's medication at the right time. We can even put it in such a way that it'll have an alarm on it that will remind her to take it and that alarm won't terminate until she's actually touched the bottle. Think about integrating it in little Johnny's football helmet so that when he's running down the line and he takes a 30G hit to the dome on fourth down, that information gets sent to the coach who will know immediately that he needs to be pulled from the game because of a threat of a concussion. Meet Loki. Loki will help make sure that you don't lose any of your stuff ever again. Put it on your keychain. And when you put it on your keychain, and you lose your house keys, just take a look at your iPhone, set off the application, and Loki will start flashing, vibrating, blinking, and making noise. And it works in reverse, too. If you've got Loki on your keychain, and you walk away from your iPhone that you left in the a restaurant, Loki will start flashing and alerting you, and so you'll never get that far away from your trusty device. We were challenged by Mark Cuban, to see if we can monitor his kids brushing their teeth. He wanted to know how frequently did they brush their teeth and for how long. And he wanted to know if we could use these kinds of devices that monitor movement and upload that information so he could check on them with a cloud-based database. As a behavioral psychologist, I said, why not gamify this and reward the kids for brushing their teeth as well? This is such a flexible and powerful device that we think we can just put it in the hands of an end user. And then you come up with the usage for it yourself. You exploit the technology for these kinds of benefits. What are these benefits again? When it twists, turns, or tilts, that information can be sent directly to your iPhone or to you through the cloud. We are at the absolute cutting edge of the next evolution for monitoring and data collection. When we showed this device at Chicago Tech Week, almost everybody we talked to came up with a different and unique application in so many different business verticals. You're probably thinking about some of these applications yourself. We want to kind of stay behind the scenes and support other corporations and their retail items. We kind of want to be like Rune 17 is what Intel inside was in the past. We want to be behind all of the 21st century wireless revolutionary ideas, but we are going to try to catch some low-hanging fruit. Take a look at Hush. Hush is a bracelet that you can wear, and when your phone rings or you get a text message, it vibrates, but something more important than that. You can link Hush to what you like on Facebook, and when you come in contact with another person in the same proximity who's wearing a hush and they like the same thing that you like, they both vibrate. Think, think about the social media there. I like Tech Nori, you like Tech Nori, we're hanging out at a cocktail party and all of a sudden I know there's another cool like-minded individual in the scenario. This is truly social, social media. What is the future going to be like? Well, we know that Bluetooth sold a billion Bluetooth devices last year alone, prior to their low energy solutions. Besides that, last year Apple only sold a fraction of devices that were ready for Bluetooth. This year, all their technology includes this. That's where we're going. 
Bluetooth is the next generation, and we are pioneers for that. We hope you will join us in this next revolution. Thank you. <laughs>